Hey, G Squad, welcome back to episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool underground here. And basically what this is, is a mop. And we see for the one that we got right here is from this brand. And for this one in particular, they call it Spin Wave Cordless Pet, which is basically a cordless hard floor mop. So if you guys seen my previous video, I actually reviewed another product from this brand, which is basically the same exact thing. But the only difference between that one versus this one is the fact that the other one was wired or it had a cord option. This one, you don't have to plug in a cord if you guys don't want to. But when you guys need to recharge it, you do need to plug in a cord. But having that cordless option is much more convenient and much more helpful. So that way you can use it anywhere as one. And you don't have to worry about the cable getting into the way, which is pretty cool. So first, I'm going to open this up to show you guys what the inside looks like. So once you guys do open up and see how everything is all well packaged, let's take everything out. So first thing inside, they do probably got the user manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. Next step right here. They do probably have the cable for you to plug in to recharge it. And then right underneath that, they provide you guys two of the pads. So this one, it does have the scrubbing option, whereas the other one that's inside, it doesn't, which I'll show you guys in a second. But the way how you use it is basically the same as the other one, it just sticks on. And then right here, they probably guys want to assess me where you guys can put the actual product on top. And I'll show you guys what she looks like in a second. And then right underneath that, we do have the product. So let's do take it out. And see how the product is all nicely wrapped up. But before we take off the wrapper, I want to show you guys what else is inside first. So on the very bottom, you can see they do probably got some formula that can add inside or can use any of the other formula as well. But for this one in particular, it's a clean and natural multi-surface formula that has a citrus fresh scent. And they mentioned how you can use it for the spin wave options or the cross wave option. And that should be everything inside. Now let's take out the wrapper. So once you guys take it out, here is basically what the product looks like. So literally everything on here is basically the same. We do have the handle option right here on top. Right here in the middle, if you can see, we do have the hole. If you guys do push it in, that basically locks it in. But same as the wired option, they do have a little hole in the back. So that way it doesn't poke it in the back to release it, to take out the pole if you guys do want to. And then for top right here, we do have the handle option. And we do have two buttons for it to push. One is the power button and the other one is the spray button. For this one, I can see we do have a very nice handle for it to carry around really easy on the side. Front part right here, we do have the water tank. So let's do take it out. This is what the water tank looks like. So to show you guys how much water and the formula to add for large area and small area. And you basically want to open this part right here to add in the formula and the water. And for bottom right here, we do have the easy hole for you to pour out the liquid when you guys are done using it. Or you can open right here to pour it out as well. But once you guys do add the formula inside, you just stick it back in. Just like that. And right here, we do have the bottom part at the bottom, which is basically the spin wave option. And the way how to design it is basically the same. It allows you guys to move it up and down and left and right. And if you guys do push up all the way, it does stand up by itself, which is pretty cool. And obviously in the front part right here, we do have the spray hole option. So that will spray out like the water and the formula. Right here, it does tell you guys that it is the spin wave cordless. This side, we do have the brand logo. And then this is basically what the bottom part looks like. So like I mentioned for this one, it's slightly different than the other one. This one is just a regular pad. Where for the other one, it has like the sponge option to give you guys a better cleaning effect. And the way how you guys take it out is actually very easy. You just want to peel it out because it's like a vocal design in the bottom. And once you guys are ready to put it back on, just stick it back on really easy. Just like that. Same thing for other one. And then put it back on. And for these pads, they are machine washable. So once you guys are done using it, you have to just roll machine to wash it. And in the back, if you see they do probably got the piece of paper to show you guys how to use it. So when you guys do turn it on, you do want to recline it first, otherwise it will not work. And like I mentioned for this accessory, you just want to put it in the bottom. Just like that. So that way your pad is always clean when you guys do use it. Or you can just put it on to let it dry by itself as well, which is pretty cool. And like I mentioned for the product, it's cordless, but you still need to plug in the cable to charge it. Let me show you guys where to plug in the cable to charge it. So I can see right here in the back, we do have the option for you guys to plug in the cable to charge it. Before I should touch it out, let me plug in cable to show you guys how to charge it up. So I just want to plug it in the back. Once you guys plug in the back, the other side don't plug in the wall outlet. So I can see once you guys do plug it in, it does light it right here. So I'm assuming once it's fully blue, that means fully charged. But right now, since it's not fully charged yet, you do want to fully charge it. Let me bring the camera a little bit closer to show you guys what I'm talking about. So right here in front, you can see we do have the blinking light when you guys do plug it in. So you definitely want to let it fully charge before you guys do use it for the first time. So while it's charging, let me add some water inside first and I'll put it back inside. And probably for this test, we're not going to actually use any formula. We're just going to use the water to see how well it works. All right, so now that we got it on the ground, let's take out the water tank and add some water inside. And probably just do a small area to kind of test it out. I do want to mention when you guys do any mop in general, you do want to vacuum the floor first before you guys do use it. All right, so let's add the water. All right, so that should be good. Close it back up and put it in. 
So once you guys got it in, then it's ready to start using it. So let's try to turn it on to see what actually works while you guys do have it plugged in. All right, so it does not work when you guys do have it plugged in. So you can only use it when the cable is unplugged. So the battery is halfway charged. Let's unplug it and test it out to see how it works. All right, so we unplug the cable. Now let's try it out to see how it works. So we have to press the power button. It turns on, but it won't work because like I mentioned, you do have to recline it. So if I do recline it, if you guys turn it on, you can see how it starts working. But when you guys turn it on, all it does is spin the bottom. So if you guys want to use the water or the solution, you do have to actually use the frame option. So just like this. Let me see how the water does spray out. And when you guys do use it, it actually glides really smoothly. And like I mentioned, you do have the option to raise it up or raise it down, turn it left and right. Very easy and very smooth. When you guys do use the product, it kind of reminds me of that waxing machine. But let me see how well the product works when you guys do use it. I do want to mention when you guys do use the product, all it is is literally just a mop option. It's not like a steam mop or anything where it actually help you guys remove stain. So if you guys do have stain on the floor, it's probably more ideal for you guys to get like a steam mop option. But if you guys want to do like a light cleaning option, then you just use this instead. And if you guys in here, when you guys do turn it on, it's not loud at all. It's actually pretty quiet. And then once you guys are done, you just bring it up and it stops. But if you guys push back down, it stays on until you guys do press the power button then it does turn off. So definitely you wanna make sure you guys press the power button and turn it off. So just from using it just now, let me show you guys what the bottom part looks like. So right here is basically what the damage looks like after we do use it. So you can see the part definitely does work. But I do love the fact of how it does have a self-standing option. So that way you guys don't have to drill anything on the wall to hold it in place, which is pretty cool. And on top of that, like I mentioned, it's wireless. So you don't need to actually have a cable in the back, which is pretty cool. So once you guys finish wiping your floor, then you can put this into machine to wash it or whatever. But that is basically everything that's on the butter. Now to come boxing and testing butter, now to answer the question of whether or not that's worth or not. So for this part, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want my need warranties, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality mop that is basically wireless and also give you guys a spinning mop option like the one that I show you guys right here, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But the obviously for those you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, that obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else you actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.